Hi guys, today we're in 1 Corinthians 2 verse 9. However, as it is written, no eye has seen, no ear has heard, no mind has conceived what God has prepared for those who love him. I thank you God for this day, for this moment. I thank you, God, for your will. I thank you, God, that sometimes we try to make our own plans, God. But your plan is better than our plans. And I always want your plan. For years, I went after my plans. And they took me nowhere. I want your plan and your will. And I love the fact that you have given me this to do, that you trusted me, God. And I only want to do it because you're the one leading me. So, God, I ask you to let your wisdom be my words. Because your words are the ones that have power. They're the ones that are effective. They're the ones that bring light to darkness. And bring life to those that are dead. So I give you all the glory and all the honor, God. Let your will be done. Holy Spirit, lead me. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. My eyes itching. wisdom we waste so much time and so much money and we put so much effort to gain world wisdom A kind of wisdom that may bring you a lot of money. Some people use that wisdom that brings death to them. But God's wisdom. A simple word in the right time, in God's time, can bring so much life why? Because it's coming from God. Because, you know, he knows exactly what the situation or what the person needs in that moment. And he gives you wisdom to heal the sick, to bring light, to bring life. God's wisdom. I have been learning that I can only have that wisdom when I go after him with all my heart. When I ask him to lead me. When I ask Jesus to help me. When I ask the Holy Spirit to connect me to Jesus. He gives me wisdom. If I happen to talk to someone that is going through something. He gives me that wisdom to say to them what they need. And days later, I see the fruit of it. I see the changes. I see the transformation. And I give Him all the glory and all the honor. I wasted years trying to find my way trying to find what I wanted to do, trying to find who was the right person for me, trying to find good friends. But what I needed is God's wisdom to lead me on what to do, on who to choose, on just waiting for the right person. God's wisdom. Our eyes are shut, our ears are shut, 
And we will never see the truth if we don't ask God for his wisdom. If we don't give him everything we got. So by his wisdom, we make the right decisions. We make the right choices. We learn from people that help us in our walk, in our faith. If we don't go after God's wisdom, we will go after the world's wisdom. And that wisdom will bring you death. Who cares about how much money you can make? If your spirit, if your soul is lost, if you don't know where you're going, or if you're just going straight to death, God's wisdom. I experience God's wisdom now. And it's fulfilling. There's a purpose. I learn. And I share with others. That's what God gives to the ones who love Him. And if you don't love Him, ask Him to give you that love. Like I did. Because I thought I loved Him and I didn't. And when I realized that I didn't, I asked Him, Please God, I want to love you. Give me love for you. And He did. And I want more and more. You should want more and more of Him. Just to love Him more. If you don't know how, you have no excuse. You need to Jesus, You need to ask Jesus to help you. And I promise that He will. Because I'm living it. So I pray, God, that whoever's listening to this video, God, that you will pour out love in them. To give back to you, God. That you will put a desire, God, to go after your wisdom, not the world's wisdom. That wisdom that will reign forever and ever. And we will see the fruit of it when we are face to face with you. And you say to us, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud that you lean on my wisdom. I thank you, God, for this video, for your word. Let your wisdom reign in our lives. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. God bless you guys.